What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I am showing you the UEFI BIOS that is on the ASRock X79 Extreme 11 motherboard and it's pretty much the same as their other ones, it just looks a little bit different, um, you know, just a little more updated. So I'm just going to go through really quick and give you a brief overview of what's inside, what you can really expect. And um, just like all you EFI BIOSes, you can move the mouse around as you can see right here. Um, let's go to the OC Tweaker page. And this is pretty much where you're going to find all of your overclocking settings. And one thing I really like is this easy OC setting right here. And you can see on this motherboard with our processor, uh, it allows you to go all the way up to 5.2 gigahertz. And I've actually been able to boot at 5.2 gigahertz, but it does not load into Windows. Um, right now I'm running at 4.8, which is still very, very high. Um, but everything else, if you want to do manual overclocking, you can. Everything in here is really easy to use. You can go in here and change your memory settings as well. Um, it's very easy to operate this BIOS. It's not clunky either that a lot of other ones really are. Um, you can do all your voltage as well right in this screen. So that's pretty much the OC tweaker page. Everything you're going to want to do with the CPU overclocking, memory, and all that is on this page. Now if we go to advanced, this is where you're going to find all the configurations for everything else. So your CPU, north bridge, south bridge, storage, super IO, ACPI, USB, ME subsystem, and network configuration. We're not going to go into all these. I'm sure most of you know what these are, but if you go into them, of course you can change all the different settings. If we go into the tool menu right here, you can change different things um, like you know the system browser, all that stuff. You can turn on um, instant flash or you can go into the instant flash um, utility which allows you to instantly flash the BIOS with a USB flash drive. All that other stuff. You can also save different defaults. So you have three defaults that you can save right here. If we go into our hardware monitor, you can see all of your temperatures and all of your fan speeds right here. Um, of course, and all of your voltages. And you can set the different settings for your fans and for the temperatures, which is a very nice thing. Um, you know, if something's getting too hot, it will turn the fan up. And if it's not, it will keep it at a low speed, which is not only is gonna save power, but your system's not gonna be super, super loud. If we go into boot here, you can select your different boot options. Um, you have three different options here. Of course, you can select if you have more devices. Um, you can select a bunch of different things, you know, boot from onboard LAN, all that kind of stuff that's in your boot options. In security, you can just set your supervisor password and a user password. And if we go to exit, of course, you can, you know, save and exit and, you know, discard all your changes, you load the faults, all that stuff. So it is a pretty um, basic UEFI BIOS. I like it. It has all the options that you need and they're very easy to find. There wasn't a point and in this BIOS where I was like, okay, where's the setting? Where, you know, what do I need to do to load my XMP profile? What do I need to do to turn Intel speed step off? It was very easy to find. So this is basically it for the UEFI BIOS on the ASRock X79 Extreme 11. Make sure you check back on Think Computers for the written review of that actual motherboard. And remember, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.